Bob Hoffman with Epiphany Now, joined by Missy Trudell, who is one of the owners, along with Todd Wallace, of Paper Imaging Printing Center. Missy, we've been saying that you're using this hashtag called People Over Profit on yeah. Facebook. What does that mean? That intrigued me a little bit. Well, thank you for asking, Bob. So when this virus started and first the schools were shut down, and then the salons were starting to shut down and restaurants were having to close their dining rooms. Um, Todd and I, my business partner, we were like, what can we do to help? So first of all, we started buying up gift cards and posting on pay, uh, Facebook who we were buying them from and then telling the story a little bit behind their business and who they are, letting people know. And then we created um, yard signs that said open for takeout. They were the plastic corrugated signs with a stake and put it out on Facebook. Hey, we've got 75 of these. We would love to give them gift them to anybody who needs them. We were blown away of how many phone calls and responses that got. And it was incredible to you were delivering these to people and they they were coming out and they were tears and they're like, we don't know what we're going to do. And it, it just, it, you know, it broke your heart. Um, and we're all, we've always been about promoting our neighbors, promoting our community is so incredibly rich with entrepreneurs and businesses that I think that so often we just, we don't know who they are and what they do. So tell us a, story, a personal story with the name of, with one of those signs delivering it, what what was, can you share something with us with that? A good story? Absolutely. Yeah. So like when I went to Fleetwood Mac or Fleetwood, Fleetwood Diner, I'm sorry, and delivered their, their sign and there was just two of them and both of them were staff members. Neither of them were, you know, owners or managers. And the one woman, she just, she just teared right up and she's, you know, she was just like, this means so much to us. People don't know that we're open. And we need, you know, we need the community to come in and yes, buy the gift certificates and pick up dinner. And she said, this, this can make a really big difference to us. And so we were, we were thrilled to do that. So it's really about supporting those local businesses who yes. are still open that we just might not know about. Yes, absolutely. And it's also, you know, when we found out when the stay at home order came in, um, again, my business partner and I sat down because we we legally could be open. We print, design, and do direct mailings for um, medical offices and for financial institutions. So we could be considered an essential worker. But the bottom line is, it is not just about Todd and I. It is not just about our staff. If each of our staff members, they go home to a family. So it wasn't just, a, you know, that that's with all of us, that's 12 other families that this could impact. And really, was it about profit or was it about people and our community? And so we reached out to all of our medical offices and our financial institutions and said, look, if you you are essential, you do need to be open. So if you need something, here's here's my cell number. Here's Todd's cell number. Reach out. We've got you. We will take care of you. Um, and and told our staff to, you know, go home, take care of yourselves. We're going to all get through this and open our doors. And it was probably one of the hardest days um, to tell our staff that we were doing that. And that is, I went home and, and sat down and we had just created a video. Todd and I had a couple of weeks before. Um, yeah. That we wanted to use. I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. What was that? You posted that on Facebook. We did. And at first we weren't going to because we had just gotten the video back and then this all happened. But I thought, you know, with the post of saying that we were we were shutting down and why and, and choosing people over profit. So we just included that video. This is who we are. This is what we're all about. Who are you? Tell me what you're about. What are you guys doing? And I was just blown away um, by how many people responded. And our community, again, is so rich with just the most amazing neighbors that we have, really trying to help out each other and uplift each other. And that's why I wanted to talk to you tonight, Missy, is because you represent that. I see a lot of your posts and you represent that. And so Thank you, Dad. you encourage people to share the good news. And oh, that's what is all about. 
It is. You know, we can turn on the radio and we can turn on the news and it's just it's devastating statistics and stories. And and this is this is touching all of us. I know that this virus has touched our touched our own extended family. Um, and but there's just so many wonderful things that's happening. I know that Kona Ice of Holt um, partnered up with other Holt leaders and the schools and they have use their Kona ice truck and have delivered over 8,000 meals to school kids and their families and 2,100 bags of groceries. That blows me away, you know, and, and I want people to know. So when you have an event this summer, please contact Kona ice and, and give them, you know, you want to, you want to give them the love, right? Um, there's a woman that I do not know, her um, or Facebook friends, and her name is Deanna, and she owns everything cheesecake. And when, yep. the, yeah, so when the schools first closed, she made a post, and I had been following her and really been in awe of her because she had talked about <clears throat> this was her passion and this was her vision, and she was just going to go for it. And I, I love that entrepreneurship, right? And then the schools closed, and she posted a picture of her making sandwiches and putting them in brown bags and said, we're not serving cheesecake today. I am, I, you know, this, and she showed a picture of a counter. This is what I have. This is how many I can make. And this is where my cheesecake truck is going to be. Please come. And then the next day she posts a picture and there's more people there and they have more things than just sandwiches. And then restaurants got involved and started giving her hot food. And then one day she posted that she, um, had 150 gift certificates to Subways and Burger Kings and McDonald's that she was handing out to families. And that that's what brings tears to my eyes. Um, that, you know. And see, we, I didn't know that. I love hearing about that because if I didn't know about it, lots of other people didn't know about it. And I just think it's so important that we talk about the good things that are happening. Absolutely. It's sad that it's a tragedy, tragedy like, you know, COVID to, to make us come together or we hear more about it. I know, but, you know, yeah, that's the thing, Bob, because I think that we've always come together and I don't know that we have been, so often we try to do things and we don't, you know, we just, we do it kind of the good of our hearts and, um, and, and we don't share it with others. And I totally understand that. But I'm in the belief, if you find out somebody's doing it, please shout from the rooftops and, and let others know. My good friend, Michelle Hoffman, she owns Hoffman Photography, very well known in our community. She is making yard signs for high school seniors because a lot of high school seniors are not going to be able to get a graduation. She does these beautiful signs. You just send her a picture. If you don't have a picture for 20, she'll, she'll tell you how to pose. For 20 bucks, she does this beautiful yard sign that people can put out in their yards. And so the neighbors and their family does know that we're still celebrating, you know, this, this, uh, this 18 year old, 17, 18 year old that's graduating from high school. Is it costing her more than 20 bucks? You're darn skippy it is. She is doing this because this is what she can do from her home. Because again, we're, we're at stay at home. Um, and you know, for 20 bucks, you get this yard sign that includes shipping and everything. It's, there's so many stories out there like that, big and small. I know, um, Lisa Lemansky and Will Lemansky of MLS Insurance, they're, um, partnering up with Zaytunes and I think it's Saddleback Barbecue and they're buying all the nurses at McLaren lunch. See, you know? are, you mentioned local businesses and we appreciate you. Uh, missing for for doing that because it's so important that we get together. And I have a call going across the bottom of the screen. So if you know of a good story, visit epiphanynow.org. We're we're going to get a link up there soon. Yeah. Up there. We're going to get a link up there that share your good news with us um, because we want to be that conduit for everything good that's happening not only here in Lansing and East Lansing, Mid Michigan, Eaton, Ingham, Clinton, Chiawassee, all over. Absolutely. Because um, we know that that one little pebble will make a splash and it will continue on to spread. So thank you for taking time out tonight. Thank you so much. I do have one real quick story to share at the very end because I know a lot of times we're like, what can we do? I was out for a walk. I live over by the Potter Park uh, Trail and there was a sign just stapled to a utility just written out with marker and it said, um, something like, thank you, utility workers. I appreciate you. 
share the kind or be the kind hashtag be the kind something like that i don't know if any utility workers saw that but i got to tell you it made me stop and it took my breath away it was the, we, we are all we're all the good and we're all the kind so thank you to our entire community we are surrounded by amazing souls thank you to our community that's a great you could put that out for your uh trash pickup you could put a sign out that yes. says recycling you yes. know you and yeah that's great yeah. Bob, thank you for what you do. Oh, uh, thank you so much. Well, it's I I get it so back in return from everyone uh, in our community. We're so blessed. So thank you, my friend. Thank you. Stay well. Stay uh, healthy, and uh, much love and peace to you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye.